Hello, my friends. Welcome to the final um, session of Focus on the Face. This has been a six session series starting from what is our skin type and primer to what are the different types of foundation, how do we color match, <clears throat> what tools do we use, how do we put concealer on, and we're finishing up with finish. What do we do as that final step? We have our makeup done. What are the things that we can do to make sure that we set our makeup, we lock it in fit place, and it stays all day? So there are three different products that are essential for the final step. Setting powder, setting spray, and finishing powder. But there's a lot of misconception about what do you need? Do you just need one? Do you need two? Do you need all three? Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today. So I'm Lisa Thibodeau and this is Tib Talk. Focus on the series session six. If you're watching, I'd love if you would hashtag Tib Talk. It helps my algorithm. And if you feel this is valuable, I'd love for you to share it to your friends as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is the setting powder. The setting powder is very finely uh, milled powder and it's translucent so you don't need to worry about a specific color. It has this little stopper in it so the powder doesn't get anywhere and you see it has a um, little net here okay and you can see how fine the powder is. It looks like it's a color but it really is just a translucent color. So what do we need our setting powder for? The setting powder sets, it is going to kind of lock it in place. It's going to lock in your concealer, your foundation, it can lock in your blush, your contour. So there are many different ways to use the setting powder. If you saw my, uh, the session five on concealer, Whenever I put my concealer on, then a lot of times I would take a damp blending bud and just put it in there and just make sure that concealer stays. You also can use the bottom of the powder concealer brush for baking. I talked about um, using setting powder for baking, baking, which means you put it really, really heavy on there. You let it sit for about five minutes and then whisk it away. And again, that's a way to set um, that concealer. <coughs> if you have very oily skin, then the setting powder is definitely what you wanna use instead of the setting spray, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. You wanna apply it either with a blending bud or with a big fluffy brush like the powder concealer brush. You want it to be a big fluffy brush. When you apply it also, especially if you have a powder foundation on, you want to actually press it in and kind of roll, press and roll, okay? You really don't want to do this, okay? Although I know you've seen me do that sometimes when I'm in a hurry because um, most of the time I have liquid on, so it's okay to do it. but. You really want to uh, press it in, okay? And I'm going to show you how good this works um, by showing you with lipstick. Now, you can actually use this for uh, helping your lipstick stay on also. So I'm just going to take some in here and put it on my lips first. Kind of like a primer for your lips. And then just put on this Ritzy. So it gives it something to adhere to. It's gonna help it stay also. Well, let me show you how great it is. Say I use this for a blush, okay? I'm just, I wanna show it to you um, and be a little bit more obvious. Obviously, I would not do my blush like this unless I was trying to be um, cute for Halloween maybe, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this setting powder and I'm gonna use that press um, technique that I tell you on just one side. Just press and roll. Okay. You see how, see what that did? Nothing. Okay. So it really sets it in place. All right. Well, let me get a little bit of, um, 
I know I'm gonna take my makeup off too, but let me just try to get that off a little bit and just give myself a little bit of, oh. It's not easy to get off after. All right, so it's important to know that you are also going to get, when you're talking about the setting powder, you're going to get a matte finish if that's what you want, okay? I actually use all three. You can use all three, but you can use just one or two as well. Let's talk about the setting spray now. The setting spray, it's one of my favorite products. I'm not kidding. I love my setting spray. Um, and... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. It can be used as a primer as well. And sometimes even when I use my Glorious Primer, I'll put this on. But you want to shake it off always because it is mineral based. If you have dry skin, the powder might not be good for you. So definitely the setting spray is what you want. The setting spray is also um, easy to apply. It, it really creates like a second skin on you to kind of just protect that makeup, lock it in place, um, and just give you a more dewy finish than the matte finish. And all I do is hold it down the whole time and just go one, two, three. It is gonna help, especially in warmer temperatures. So this setting spray, when it's hot, it is also gonna lock in place so that it doesn't sweat. That's why I always, even though I use the setting powder, I always use my Behold setting spray as well. It can also be a refresher during the day. You know, if you just kind of feel like, mm, and you just maybe, maybe put some more lipstick on and a little bit of blush, then that can refresh you for going out in the evening as well, okay? So to set your makeup, setting powder or setting spray, or you can use both like I do. So what's the difference when we talk about finishing powder? Now, finishing powder is just that, it's finished. It's the last step. It is meant to give a final effect. It's gonna blur lines and wrinkles, kind of give you a soft focus, it's very, very finely milled. It is much finer than the setting powder. You're gonna always apply it with a fluffy brush. This one comes with it, so that's good. And you just hold it upside down and you do this and the powder will come in there. And you just basically, you don't wanna ever buff this. You just want to lightly apply it on. What's great about this particular um, finishing powder too is besides the fact that it gives you that soft um, kind of Instagram focus, it also is a 25 SPF. So I'm definitely gonna take it to the beach, right? Because it's perfect for that. It's portable. Um, for this, you do have four shades and uh, it really just kind of, it can blur your pores, lines, and just give you like a soft texture to your skin. So do you need all three? I use all three. You need at least two, though. You should have either choose the powder or the spray and then the finishing. It is different. So that is gonna help your makeup stay. So think about it. If you have taken the time to do your eyes, to do your makeup in the morning, you want it to stay all day. And that's why we are using the setting powders and the finishing powders. And trust me, even if you don't use this, the, the finishing powder everywhere, putting it, if you're older, um, more experienced, putting it underneath your eyes is gonna really help blur those fine lines and wrinkles that so many of us have under our eyes, and even a lot of young people do. So I hope that you found this valuable and I hope that you've loved this series. I will be posting a YouTube to link to all six of them if you missed any. You can also catch them on my Instagram TV as well as my personal wall. They're all on there. Thank you so much and uh, truly appreciate that um, you've watched this series. And if there's anything else you're interested in, please let me know and I will make sure that I cover it for you. Thank you, have a wonderful day.